Hi everyone. So we're here on the water, getting ready to have some fun. Hopefully the wind comes out to play. Um, I stripped the kayak uh, down to bare minimums, so I have only my sail and just a few things on it. So we're gonna try to catch some wind, hopefully later on in the afternoon. And uh, I got a lot of uh, people asking me questions of how I rig it and uh, how does it feel sailing a kayak. So I wanted to do a little short video of uh, how I have it set up for sailing. Um, so a little feedback about me, I had a Revo 13 previously to that with the sail and I loved sailing it but I wanted a more of a fishing kayak so I saw that along with the sail and I ended up getting a, an Outback and after a few times uh, going out and uh, not catching fish um, I decided to get another sail for this one just, uh, just to have a little extra fun on the water when the wind comes out so the Revo was a little tipsy also as well this thing is like built like a tank. I don't feel like uh, I'm gonna tip over. I do need to sit a little bit to the side when the wind picks up. And uh, usually like when the winds are around the 15 miles an hour, that's when, uh, that's when the fun comes out. So, so this is a real quick of how I rigged it. I did have on the, previously I did have the the furling system that the uh, hobby sells uh, and that works fine um, but uh, on this one I decided to get the to do the DIY mounts that everybody does and uh, so basically what it is it's a inch and a quarter PVC with two end caps uh, you drill one inch hole with a drill bit and uh, make one hole on the top and one hole on the bottom a little bit elevated and that's what it is it's as simple as that um, this is uh, that comes with the main sheet uh, the rope I ended up uh, putting it on the furler because it's a little shorter and uh, everything else I got from uh, West Marine and uh, if you're gonna buy at least the rope and the other stuff uh, I suggest uh, going to West Marine because for a little more you get a, a little bit of a quite a bit of a nice uh, roll that's um, it's just way better than what you will get from Home Depot or uh, or Lowe's. Um, as far as the other stuff, the how I furl it, I have a um, it's a it's a single block that I screwed over here I did have to make a few calls and uh, I have another um, it's a large C, C cleat that grips and holds it in place uh, I did end um, remove the, the plastic over here so I don't have to drill extra holes plus I have all the accessories over here so it actually works perfect um, so the block and this, as I said, everything I got from uh, West Marine. And then I have another block over here. If you want to go the cheap route, you can just route the, you can just route the, the line through this uh, pad eye. And then again, over here on the plastic, I have another uh, block that, again, I made holes to the plastic, not the, not the hull and just the line goes forward and then I got this is a spin lock I got I think I got a little bit more than a quarter inch the bigger one because I was the the one that's the quarter inch is perfect fit for this and I wanted it to be a little bit loose uh, to be a little bit loose on the on the rope so if I need to release it uh, if I catch a crosswind, it's gonna immediately come out and then you just tie a knot at the end and that's pretty much it. 
it works perfect these things yeah they're a little bit of expensive you don't have to buy them if you end up liking sailing your kayak uh, you probably will because they make life easier um, and yeah I love sailing the kayak I actually do like it way better than uh, the Bixby motor that everybody asks if I like the Bixby motor I love sailing the kayak when the winds pick up and everybody wants to come out of the water or if uh, if it's, it's on a windy day and you don't want to go fishing you can always come out with your kayak and have lots of fun plus right now we are kind of in the we're here on a Sunday in a busy marina so uh, it makes me very visible to everybody um, I'll show you a little bit of a sail later on or if the wind doesn't pick up today I'll add another video from another day that I use it sailing but hopefully we have some fun today bye so still no action still no wind but I'm gonna show you how the furler works so all I have to do is release the line from over here and just pull the main sheet out and when the cell is deployed you can just lock it over here so you don't have to so you don't have to hold the the line in your hand the tension all the time and if there is gust or you want to release the sail all you have to do is just pull on the rope and then you have a flag instead of a sail and when you want to furl it back you have to release the the main sheet and just keep a little bit of attention on the sail and there we are so there is super simple and then you lock it over here and that's it So here we are in open ocean heading towards lots of sailboats enjoying the high life at a cheaper price and we are sailing upwind the beauty of this sail you don't have to have the wind at your back to sail We actually, well, we're not flying, but we're moving. The wind is not even five miles an hour, so can't really expect anything exciting to happen. But if we stick around, hopefully, it's gonna pick up more. But. nice and peaceful again my favorite accessory if you're ever in doubt you just do it you're not gonna regret it now again I can't really tell this is probably between 15 and 20 miles an hour kind of like gusty kind of winds but my windy app says it's four miles an hour but it's definitely not four miles an hour or at least on this section and the GoPro 
always going to flatten out the swell, but there is kind of swell coming in all directions, probably around five footers. Uh, it's not exactly what I call smooth sailing, but at least it's some wind. You can't complain. with the motor I couldn't even go past four miles an hour and I guess with the sail it pushes it enough that it pulls the hull of the kayak six miles an hour and six miles an hour in a wind that's supposed to be a really calm day um, yeah it's very gusty over here but still super nice day the water is warm so if I flip this would be the perfect day and uh, the only problem I I have now that I'm running actually the little bispy on the side or the sail right now and uh, having the the pedals in the mirage drive is when the, when I get up to five six miles an hour with the sail the kick up fins especially the front one keeps kicking up so maybe i need to tighten it a little bit uh, but obviously you want to have the the mirage drive inside so it actually helps you a little bit and uh, as far as stability and acts as a kill but they keep on uh, they keep on kicking that's kind of annoying that's the only part but yeah six miles an hour uh, when I'm going upwind I still kind of actually haven't figured it out exactly I still need to put a little more day I've been trying to fish I need to start sailing a little more especially when the windy days are but uh, right now I'm going upwind and uh, Four miles an hour upwind, downwind, six miles. Maybe if the wind picks up even a little more, I can maybe hit seven, but I don't think I want to do that right now. So yeah, this is it for now. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and have fun on the water. using the cell for the first time I'm trying to sell them on it
earlier I panicked a little bit. I thought I was gonna flip for a second. So I'm going back the other way. 